All right, guys, here's a uh, sample from the rear of the Huawei Mate 20X. Huawei Mate 20X has a wide-angle lens. I won't turn it on, but uh, this is just a quick sample just to show you in the same position as the Galaxy Note. All right, guys, so here's a uh, sample from the rear on the Galaxy Note 9. Let me know what you think, just real brief, holding the phone, just sitting here giving you a quick sample. All right, guys, here's the front camera on the Galaxy Note 9. Video sample, real brief, just holding the phone, and that's what I'll do with the other phone as well. But here's the front camera. All right, guys, here's the front camera on the uh, Mate 20X, real brief, just holding the phone like before. Uh, and I'll just take a look and tell me what you think about audio and color reproduction. All right, guys, so uh, here they are side by side. I got them real close. So you can get some detail on my gray hairs, uh, my face and everything. You tell me what you think. Uh, this is a front camera on both. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. I love doing phone battles. I think this is what it's about. Man, we have all these phones out here, and uh, we want to test them, and this is what we should do. We should put them next to each other, and you can get different perspectives from different people. Now, this is my take on this um, for both of these these devices right here. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down my basic list this time. I'm going to do design, features, screen, camera, performance, you know, software, battery, and price. So first up is design. We'll start with the Mate 20X since it's technically the challenger. Uh, and you see what you get here. So you get a 7.2 inch AMOLED display on the front. You've got a little cutout at the top, a real small cutout at the top up there. Uh, but this is actually a full screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn, the, turn it back on, get it, get it back to that default look. Uh, so uh, you'll be able to see how it is here. See, it looks a little bit, it actually looks really good like that. I was just testing some stuff earlier, but 7.2 inches, you get the little cutout at the top. Um, beautiful display, it's huge. On this side here, you've got a ridged power button with a little hint of red. And you've got the volume rocker right there. On the top, you've got headphone jack, uh, IR blaster, one microphone, and one of the stereo speakers. On the bottom, you got Type-C, two microphones, and the other stereo speaker. On this side, you have the SIM tray. Uh, and on the back here, obviously, you have the uh, fingerprint reader with the three camera Leica set up here, man. It's a 40 megapixel, a 20 and an eight. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. Uh, overall design and build quality on this thing is absolutely stunning, man. It's, it's got a textured glass back. Um, it's, it's just stupendous, man. It's, it's sick. Uh, it, is, it is really good. That fingerprint reader is just crazy fast. It's much faster than the one on the Galaxy Note, and the facial recognition is also a little bit faster than this on, on the Galaxy Note. Which one is the most secure? You can argue about that in the comments, but I don't have a, I just know which one is faster. So a um, little, little speaker grill on the top up there for your phone calls. Uh, overall design element, though, there it is. Big, big boy. Now, the Galaxy Note, uh, as you can see, you get a 6.4-inch display, Super AMOLED, opposed to the 7.2-inch AMOLED over here. Uh, you have a uh, speaker grill up here, which uh, is one of the, the speakers for your stereo speakers. Uh, you got your front-facing camera right there, uh, and then you've got the uh, bottom down here. You got Type C, a headphone jack, and the other speaker. You got your port for your S Pen. On this side, you got the power button. On this side, you got a Bixby button and the volume rocker. And on the back here, you've got the fingerprint reader and the uh, two camera setup with heart rate monitor and LED flash and everything. On the top, you've got a microphone, and you've got a microphone down there. Uh, and then you've got the SIM tray, which doubles up as an SD card slot as well. And uh, the design of this thing is, is beautiful. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's uh, definitely easier in the hand than this phone right here, but I got big hands, so both of these work for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that bad, uh, but uh, it's more boxy. Even though this phone is narrower, it's sharper than this phone. So this phone is rounded. You know what I mean? It's, it feels really good in the hand because it's got that sloping design you know what i'm saying so the note is rounded as well but it's a sharp design it cuts it cuts you you know what i'm saying uh but overall feeling hand is subjective i have big hands so both of these don't matter to me but this is more narrow and this is um the design of this is way more narrow this is obviously a bigger phone but it's still got that narrow design uh but as far as design I give the design to the Mate 20 all day. I think this is a much, I used to laugh at this right here, but I definitely like that design better than what's on the Galaxy Note 9. I think this phone looks better than the Galaxy Note 9. 
in every single way, man. I really like it the way it shimmers. I think the Mate the Mate 20X has the better design overall. Uh, and if you don't like the Mate 20X, the Mate 20 has the same design, but it's the same size as the Galaxy Note 9. So design goes to the, the Mate 20X. Now, as I move on to uh, features and options, I'm just going to put the, put the Mate 20 down uh, because features and options include things like an iris scanner, IP68. Um, it's, got, it's got intelligent scan. It's got a heart rate monitor. Uh, it's got a fingerprint reader. It's, it's got more options on the hardware, and it has the S Pen suite uh, for the extra added options. Uh, so you can do you can do notes on here, and this also has a pen, but it's not the same type of functionality as this pen. This pen can control the camera, video, take photos. It could do it all. There's no there's not a lot of phones that have more features than the Galaxy Note. So the Galaxy Note pretty much always always wins with features and options. And it's no exception for the Mate 20X. The Mate 20X doesn't have all those features and options, but it does have like the basics for gestures and things like that. And that's just something that some phones have, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so like phones today, I should say, they have that type of deal. So uh, you can do notes on here with the pen, but you have to buy the pen for the Mate 20X. And for what I'm told, I'm told not to even waste my money. Just real talk. So features and options. I think you already knew that the Note 9 was going to win. So now um, I'm going to talk about the screens. And I'm just going to fire up uh, uh, a HDR video. I love doing HDR videos because it's the best way to show the, the screen. Turn the volume down on here. It's the best way to show the screen off to give you some sense. Now the... the the note, I have the enhancement turned on. So every time I fire up a video on the note, it's going to look like it's brighter than everything else. But I could crank the volume, the brightness up on here and make it look exactly the same. But I'm not even going to do it. Uh, I'm just going to show you this video. And I'm going to put it at 1080p. Or This one goes to 1440p. So I'll put it at 1440p. I'll play a little bit of it. And in the meantime, I'm going to be firing up. Uh, oops. Let's go here. I actually let me hit that big speed. I'm going to be firing it up over here. So, get it going. It's already at 1080p. And I'm going to pause this. Or, you know, I'll just fast forward to that part. See if I can get it. Yeah, it's about right there. So, um, let's see here. There it is. Pretty much all the same. Now, even though this is a quad HD display, and this one is a 1080p AMOLED display. The fact that this one is more immersive and everything, that's cool. But you look at how it's being reproduced over this video. And I know it's kind of tough uh, to see over video. Don't be shocked at what I say. But I give this to the Mate 20X. The Mate 20X is kicking off more detail. And it could be that it's at 1080p. Let me I'll, I'll go ahead and switch this to 1080p. Just to you know, go ahead and do it like I should do it. Um, let me pause this real quick and get this some chance to catch up. There we go. So. I want these to play together. Pretty much. This is a tough one, man. But I give it I give it to the to the Mate 20X, man. That's that's real talk. Man, this freaking Bixby. Um, I, I give it to the Mate 20X. Like for real, for real. I give this this screen for one is bigger uh, and then um, I just feel like it looks better. Even though it's 1080p, I think it looks better. I, th I think it looks a lot better. And so for those of you who have both of these phones, you tell me. I know uh, shout out to um, Spectacular Gadgets. She got both of them. I know she do. Uh, but I got to tell you, man, I give it to the, I give it to the to the Mate 20X. And I'll let y'all battle it out in the comments. I mean, this screen is crazy. It's not that it's bigger. It just looks better to me. You know what I'm saying? So that's me. So screen, I give it to the Mate 20X. Now, um, I'm going to do a, a speaker test. Uh, the speaker test has to come down. You know what I'm saying? I got to do the speaker test. So let me go in here and find some. Uh, I'll just get something on YouTube that's free, some free. So I don't got to go through all of this. Um Free YouTube mu music. 
go. I just typed that in for both of them. Uh, no, let's let's do Otis, man, because Otis, Otis, I know he's free. Uh, Otis McMusic, there he is, and we'll go ahead and do the same thing over here. I'm just I'm just doing this real time. I ain't gonna stop the video or anything like that because I want you to just get it as it goes. Otis make music. Everybody uses his stuff. So I'll just click on this one since this is one. Right, that was 25 seconds. Let's do it over here. Uh-oh. Hit back somehow. All right. Let's get that one right there. Let's go back, 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 Woo. back, 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 back. <laughs> you already know, man. Oh, my God. All right, so there it is. These both have stereo speakers, uh, but the Note uses that older way, which uses the earpiece and the bottom speaker, which kills it. The uh, Mate 20X has a speaker here and a speaker here with a huge speaker grill. Speak speaker sound quality, Mate 20X, man. It's, it just sounds better, and it's louder, and it sounds better. And, it, and over video, you can't really hear the bass coming from the Mate 20X. But it's got mad bass. It does. Now, let's switch over to uh, performance. Now, performance is something that th this phone right here has the Kirin 980. And some of you guys might say it's not fair. But this came out last year. And this phone came out last year. This has a Snapdragon 845. And this has a Kirin 980. The Kirin 980 is a, just a monster of a processor, man. And um, call me biased or whatever. But... I've always liked the Kirin processors. If you follow me for a long time, I'm not a Huawei fiend or anything like that. I just know that the Snapdragon processors are really good. Uh, but, and it could be Samsung software or whatever. You say whatever you want to say. I think both of these phones run really fast, really smooth. Uh, but I like the performance uh, from that I'm getting from the Mate 20X currently. Uh, the, the, the Note 9, I did some gaming on both of these. And, uh, you know, the, the this is actually touted as a gaming phone for some reason. I think somebody said Huawei's kind of selling the gaming portion. They said it's going to perform well. And it does. Both of these performs well. I'll go ahead and call it a wash because some of you guys don't have both. And I'm not getting ready to do a full gaming battle with both of these phones. It's not going to happen. So just to, just to prove my point that I think this phone is just a little bit more smooth than this phone. It's, they're both very fast. So I'm going to call that a wash. Even with the software, I can't tell you that this is better than this because you might prefer this or you might prefer this that's just like when people try to compare the iphone software to android but in reality you should really just compare iphones to pixels in my opinion because it's stock android and it's pure android uh, and even then the iphone is still smoother so subjective so i'm gonna call it a wash software is a wash next up is battery now the battery on both of these the note 9 Easily pulls down seven, seven and a half, sometimes eight, sometimes nine. This phone consistently pulls down nine and a half to ten on every freaking charge. Straight up. I tell you no lie. Uh, Note 9 owners, you know, just take it for what it is, man. The Note 9 is is the champ, you know what I'm saying, for, for some people call it the most complete phone. I named it phone, phone of the year. But you can't stay phone of the year forever and... Even if it is phone of the year, it still can be beat in some areas by other phones. And that's what you have to realize. You can't just take the good and don't want to hear what you think somebody is being objective about. Objectively, I tell you, uh, and with a fact, that the battery on the Mate 20X murders uh, an extra two and a half hours, folks. That's good. The Note 9 cannot pull down nine hours consistently and last more than a day. This phone can. 
This phone lasts for almost two days, pulling in 10 hours and, and almost all the time. So that's what it is. Now the Note 9, let's switch over to price. The Note 9 is a, is a phone that you can catch it on promo and it's available in the US officially. This is not officially available in the US, but that doesn't mean it can be compared because I get total full LTE on this phone right here uh, and it's compatible. I've taken it out of town already. You know, it's full LTE. No, it even has LTE, uh, voice over LTE. When I'm talking on a phone call, it stays on LTE and I'm on the internet and it doesn't have a voice over LTE logo, but I noticed it one day and I needed to check something and I put them on speaker and I said, oh snap, I still got LTE. So it went, it went good. So price, you, I got my phone for $725, brand new in the box. I got it on eBay. You can find it on websites though. You can find it on giztop.com. You can find it on, I guess a lot of people shop at AliExpress, all these different places. Point is you can get this Mate 20X everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So um, shout out to Night Tech. Uh, you can get this, this phone anywhere. It's just not officially launched in the US. So some of you guys are gonna say, well, what about if it breaks or something like that? You don't have any support. Listen, my answer to that is Apple. Apple is the only company in the U.S. where you can get your phone fixed the same day. Samsung, no, you can't do that. So you're not getting any support, any special support from any of the care, any OM. The only people that keep it 100 is Apple. Apple. And I'm actually recording this video with the iPhone. Uh, and I got the camera attachment on the super wide, just so you know. Apple is the only company that I stand behind for support. Anybody else saying any of that other nonsense, you could kick rocks with it, man, because it's not happening. There are no Samsung stores all over the U.S., only Apple. So, and that's just not for Samsung. That's for any OEM. Now, this phone right here, hey, I can't force you to buy it. I can tell you, though, if you think this is too big, just grab the Mate 20. It's the same phone, different camera setup, still got the three cameras on there. Guarantee you still be impressed. But nonetheless, you can find this for about 800 tops, maybe for the 128 6 gig. This is the 128.6 gig. $1,000 is the official price. Now you can get it on promo. Again, you argue that in the comments. I'm not getting into that. All I'm telling you is boss up price. This phone right here is totally worth $700, man. And this one is worth $700. So the price. You know, if you catch the Samsung on promo, you win. If you catch this phone, period, you win. Now, save um, some things. Uh, you know, I, I just feel like the, the Note 9 is one of the most feature-rich phones out there. It is. It's one of the most feature-rich. Uh, but I bet you people who have, I bet you people who have the Mate 20X are impressed. Techzilla, shout out to Techzilla. He has both of these. Let, I want to hear him comment on here. Somebody tag him on this video. If you hung in there for this to the 17-minute mark, somebody tag him on this video. He's going to tell you more than likely. I mean, I don't. I could be wrong. But he's going to tell you how much better the Mate 20X does at certain things uh, than the Galaxy Note 9. And the Galaxy Note 9 is starting to show his age a little bit already because they're already talking about the S10, the S10 Plus, and they're talking about the, the Note 10. However, the Note 9 is still a beast of a phone. But again, you can't win all of the fights. And that's what's happening right here. So, you know, respectfully, I give this battle and this win to my man, the Mate 20X. That textured back, though. And these cameras. Oh, what did you think about the cameras? Woo! The Note 9 is still my phone of the year or whatever, but I didn't have this phone. You know what I'm saying? So I give it to the I give it to the Mate 20X, man. You can hate me if you want to. And this is just a phone battle. I, I don't care. This is my this is my perspective on this. So respect it. Leave your comment down below. Note 9 owners, you gotta you, you gotta quit quit being so biased and you gotta accept it because we all know the Note 10 is gonna be a beast. But for now, this is the beast.